कॉपीज अ वेरी वॉर्म वेलकम टू यू ऑल माई सेल्फ सृष्टि पांडे इन दिस वीडियो विल टेल यू अबाउट हु कैन अप्लाई फॉर सी डी एस को लाइसेंस सी डी एस को स्टैंड फॉर सेंट्रल ड्रग्स स्टैंडर्ड कंट्रोल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज द नेशनल रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी फॉर इंडियन फार्मास्यूटिकल एंड मेडिकल डिवाइसेज अंडर द डायरेक्टरेट जनरल ऑफ हेल्थ सर्विसेज एंड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर इन इंडिया it is the responsibility of cds co to approve new drugs and conduct clinical trials in india under the drugs and cosmetic act of 1940 and drugs and cosmetic rules of 1945 it also lays down the standards for drugs and control the quality of imported cosmetic and drugs in the country to bring about uniformity the act and rules entrust several responsibilities to the central and state regulator for regulating cosmetic and drugs in india cdsco is the central drug authority that discharges the function assigned to the central government under this act it is also provides expert advice to state drug control organization and coordinates their activities CDS co and state regulators are jointly responsible for issuing CDS co licenses for specific specialized categories of critical drugs like vaccine IV fluids sera blood and blood products let's first understand C- CDS co sugam portal the CDS co central drugs standard control organization introduced this portal in november 2015 to have up to date information on medicine made in india cds co created the module under the sugam portal for updating and uploading data on its website pertaining to the licensed drug manufacturing facilities and approved or licensed drug formulation sugam's deployment has improved the company's accountability dependability transparency and it's easy to use an electronic governance system called cds co sugam is used to carry out various cds co tasks it is software created for an online application portal used to request nocs permission licenses registration certificates and approvals this portal offers a web interface for following applications answering questions and downloading permissions granted by the cds co Additionally it assists CDS co staff members with processing online applications creating online permission and producing MIS reports Let's see the purpose to apply for CDS co license An applicant applies for CDS co license for different objectives The different objectives for which an applicant can register under the CDS co portal are following cosmetic registration export noc ethics committee registration blood bank registration dual use noc blood product registration sponsors ba be and ct manufacture or import of drugs test license formulation r and d organization ba and be approved sites further let's see who are eligible to apply for cds co license and there's a list of applicants who can apply for cds co license importers authorized indian representatives corporates foreign enterprises who are holding indian subsidiary it is important to note a manufacturing unit cannot register directly on the cds co portal a corporate must create login credential for the manufacturing unit by which they can log in on the cds co portal Let's now see the documents that are generally required to apply for CDS co license. There are some essential documents to apply for CDS co license which are ID proof document, address proof documents, undertaking granted by a government authority, manufacturing license or wholesale license in case of manufacture or import of drugs blood product registration test license registration copy of ba be site registration and approval from cds co in case of ba be approved site registration 
Now let's see the general procedure to obtain CDS Co license. Following are the some essential steps to obtain CDS Co license in India. Step 1 there are different kinds of drugs in cosmetic licenses and type of license required depends on the product services activity and the nature of the business. The applicant has to apply in the requisite form according to the category mentioned on the site with fees and required documents. Step 2. Documentation for obtaining a drug and cosmetic license is crucial in India's licensing procedure. Step 3. The applicant has to apply separate application for all types of prescribed licenses via different forms. Step 4. Scrutiny of application and inspection of factory location take place. The drug inspector visits the location and verifies the particular of the application. A query is raised if there is any discrepancy and shortcoming. Step 5. Product scrutiny also take place. The drug inspector verifies information of the product applied on the application and in case they are found to comply with the norms and condition, the application will be considered for grant of license. Inspector may raise clarification in the application. Step 6. After satisfactory verification, drug controller department issues the license. Step 7. The Drug Control Administration also provides the approval for technical staff according to the Drugs and Cosmetic Rules 1945, framed under the legislation abiding through the WHO and GMP inspection norms. In the end, I would like to say that the Drugs and Cosmetic Act CDS Co is responsible for approval of new drugs, laying down the standards for drugs, conduct of clinical trials, control over the quality of imported drugs, cosmetics and medical devices in the country and coordinating the activity of state drug control organization by providing expert advice and a view of bringing about the consistency in the enforcement of drugs and cosmetic act that's it in this video for more video like and subscribe our channel thank you